Hi everyone, welcome back. You're watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, I will walk you through a comparative sales analysis dashboard that I have developed in MS Excel. And this is the premium uh, dashboard. You can download it from our website, uh, the www.thedatalabs.org. And you will find this uh, this dashboard template in the dashboard and reports section. So you just need to click on that. And from here, you can download it like the Mastering Comparative Sales Analysis Dashboard. Okay, and that will also reflect in latest analysis. So once you click on that, it will open the page. And from this page, you will go through all these steps which are required to make the changes and all the features. So you can understand all the features, what are the changes required to implement this dashboard template uh, for your actual uh, sales data. Okay, and you can download the uh, dashboard file the demo file from the download button available at the end of this uh, blog post okay so apart from that like if you want to uh, download uh, multiple templates and trackers which are completely free so you can come here in templates and tracker section in our uh, website and you will find n number of templates dashboard automated trackers and everything and that is completely free okay so let's uh, move to the competitive dashboard here and this is the comparative sales analysis dashboard in MS Excel and Power Pivot. Okay, so let's understand the structure of this dashboard first. So if you look at this, this dashboard consists of uh, five different uh, worksheets. Like the, the first uh, worksheet is a product man, product master. In product master, uh, we have created a table that is product master table having three different columns. Uh, first one is product ID, product name, and category, product category. Okay, so here uh, in the data section base, I have mentioned uh, the dummy data, but in case if you are going to utilize this dashboard for your sales data, you can you can uh, delete this entire data and paste uh, your actual cell product master data. Okay, so coming to the second worksheet that is the actual sales data and this this sheet has one uh, table that is actual sales uh, data having three different columns date that is sales date product ID and actual sales amount. Okay. So this is the uh, sales amount, actual sales. And again, if you are going to configure this template for your uh, sales data, you can delete all the entire data and paste all uh, the actual one. Okay. Next, uh, that is the target sales. So we have uh, target sales table having same type of column, basically like uh, date, product ID, target sales amount. Okay. So we have a day wise target for all this product ID. Okay. Again, if you are uh, using this tracker, you can copy remove the uh, fictitious data over here and paste uh, the actual data okay now uh, these are the three different data sheets basically now coming to the support sheet so the support sheet will be it's for internal purpose and it has a multiple uh, tables and you know some of the metrics so we will discuss this uh, this support sheet uh, later in later part of this video uh, once we will understand the power pivot data modeling and DAX calculation okay the very uh, last sheet or uh, you can see that so it is a dashboard which contains several visualization cards slicers and all the things so again we will discuss this dashboard once we'll complete the discussion of power pivot okay so let's move to the power pivot here click on power pivot and click on manage okay so in this power pivot uh, uh, we have loaded this product master that we have discussed target sales table and actual sales so all these three tables are coming from the excel file which we, we have uh, discussed you know a uh, few minutes back basically all these tables here and the last table that is a calendar table this is a custom calendar basically we have created using like you know uh, if you go to the design here and date table and with the help of this new we have calculate uh, we have created you know this table basically having one column table and for year, this year, month, uh, number, month, MMM, YYY, that is uh, month again, days of week and uh, week number and days of week. So we have calculated all these columns using DAX formula. So if you want to look at this like here, let me explain this. So you can see this year, then we have month, month, format, MMM, YYY, day, day of week. Okay. So, uh, now we have like including this calendar we have four different tables let's come to the home here and let's understand the design diagram view so in diagram view uh, we have created a relationship so in this data model basically we have two dimension table that one is the calculated uh, sorry calendar table and the second one is the product master the product master is coming from 
uh, excel itself data itself basically and calendar is a custom uh, calendar basically custom table which we have created in this power pivot now uh, this calendar date is connected with uh, target sales date again this date is connected with uh, this one actual sales date okay so this is one to many connection here and again one to many now product master we have created this product master basically product id is connected with the target sales table as well as uh, uh, this one product id in actual sales and in this table let me come here uh, view here so in actual sales uh, data table basically we have calculated some of the metrics you can see kpi that is uh, current year like if you look at this current year sales previous year sales year on year sales growth target sales target sales uh, target variance uh, percentage sales achievement and actual sales so let's understand uh, go through this dax formula basically this current sales current year sales basically we are taking the max of the calendar year okay and then we are applying filter on summation of this actual amount and selecting the current year basically the max so this will always show uh, the current year sales basis on the calendar selection basically the month selection or year selection yeah now coming to the previous year here uh, we are calculating the previous year sales same period last year okay then year on year growth we are calculating the year on year sales growth now target sales this is the completely sum of target sales that is coming from target sales table target variance okay so target variance so what we are doing we are calculating uh, the target variance like actual sales minus target sales divided by target sales so it means at what percentage we are missing the target or we are exceeding the target okay now sales achievement so sales achievement percentage we are uh, calculating the per uh, percentage achievement of sales against the total target okay now actual sales that is the completely summation of actual sales amount that is coming from actual sales table so these all metrics we are calculating using tax okay now once we will uh, done with this calculation basically we will insert a pivot table from here this pivot table and once you insert and select the support sheet so we are creating all the pivot tables in our support sheet so let's move to the excel here and come to the support sheet okay so in support sheet if you look at this we have one two three and four uh, four different types of pivot tables we have created so the first pivot tables is just a summary of all the metrics like current year sales previous year sales on year sales growth percentage target sales tar uh, target variance percentage sales achievement and actual sales okay and for this year on year sales growth and target variance we have created two different conditional column to uh, apply a conditional formatting on red and green base if the year on year sales is uh, less than zero base that will this number will reflect uh, in this column and it will start showing in red whenever we will use this metric to show this data similarly for target variance if this is negative then it will show in under red and if that is positive it will show in the green okay so this is the conditional basically only two two of uh, metrics year on year sales growth and target variance percentage coming to the next table here we are summarizing the actual sales and target sales by uh, by month name now this the third table that has again actual sales and target sales by category and here we are using the hierarchy basically let me expand this hierarchy basically so we have category and product hierarchy okay so at initial level uh, we will be using the category while creating the uh, chart similarly uh, for here the last table that is the fourth uh, fourth pivot table we are showing uh, the previous year sales amount and current year sales amount by category and with the hierarchy product okay so all these three tables basically uh, this one this and this we are using this as a base for pivot chart in which we are showing under this dashboard worksheet the first one we are using all these matrix data in our on the cards which we are showing on dashboard okay if you look at this here uh, uh, below the first table we have created some uh, raw data basically uh, the base data which is which is required to create a speedometer chart so with the help of this we are creating a speedometer chart and dashboard for sales achievement okay so this is all about the support sheet let's come to the dashboard here 
and in dashboard if you look at this it's a very beautiful dashboard on top we have a header that is target versus actual sales analysis dashboard okay and below this header we have four different cards that is total sales target total actual sales sales target variance and year and year sales growth so all these data basically for these cards are coming from the support sheet that is from here this section okay now uh, below these cards on the left side we have a speedometer chart which is showing sales achievement percentage and it's a beautifully visualize the sales achievement percentage so that so currently like we have selected 2022 so you can see that it's showing 63.1 so we are missing the target and uh, no okay on the right side of this sales achievement this speedometer chart uh, we have uh, a trend line chart basically to show the actual versus target sales by month okay so here by month we are showing the actual sales and target sales and that is uh, this will show the data for the selected uh, year basically if you delete this uh, remove this slicer basically it will show the data for entire duration okay now on the on the top right corner uh, we have a three different slice of year category and product name so with the help of all these slicer you can slice and dice the data the entire data for this uh, for this you know uh, dashboard okay so let me select this 2022 now you can see that it has started showing the data for 2022 in case if you want to filter a specific category you can click on that and it will start showing that specific category so let me and again if you want to uh, filter a product level basically you can click on any of the product and it will start showing the data for that specific product so let me clear it this and again this one let's keep this uh, uh the year slicer 2022 now coming to the middle section of this dashboard we have two uh, different column charts that is one is for actual versus target sales by category and the second uh, one is previous year versus current year sales and again this is by category okay so both the charts are interactive it means uh if you click on any of the category here it will filter out the data entire data uh, of this dashboard it means like the way we can perform the interactive filter in microsoft power bi we can perform the same level of filtering uh, using this uh, these charts okay so let me show you how here if you want to like say suppose i just want to filter this by category 3 so just double click on that here and it will expand the category for this uh, category 3 and it will start showing the data at product level okay so you can see that it has started showing the data for product level okay and similarly it has applied a filter on category 3 in all these uh, all these cards these line graphs sales achievement even the slicer as well as the table uh, which is available below okay if you want to roll up uh, drill up right click on that and uh, drill up or drill up category okay same way in case if you want to uh, filter or drill down this category just select this drill category or you can double click or right click on this and drill down here and drill down so it will expand the category of category 2 here and it will start showing the product level information again if you want to drill up just right click on that drill up and drill up to category okay so this uh, this is the second section the middle section of this uh, dashboard coming to the last at the bottom of this uh, dashboard we have a table that shows the sales summary uh, performance by product category and product name so in this table if you look at this we have a product category then product name then uh, all the kpi like target sales actual sales target variance sales achievement percentage previous year sales current year sales and year on year over year sales growth okay so with the help of uh, this in this table basically you can get the detailed view of sales summary by product and uh, product category okay so this uh, dashboard is very interactive and user friendly you can use this dashboard in your sales analysis okay download it from uh, our website www.thedatalabs.org uh, uh, we have already provided the link in the description box hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching have a great day bye bye